We're going to talk about fat today. Hopefully you've enjoyed our series so far. Um, we have a lot of fun things coming. Um, I was actually just on a, a call with a lady. She's down 70 pounds and plateaued for almost three months. And so she's in this frustrated part. She's really low carb-ish, keto-ish kind of place. And I was explaining to her a few things that could be missing. And that kind of gives comes to what we're going to talk about today. So... Um, and we'll talk about plateaus. I'll do I'll do some specials on plateaus. Plateaus are actually can be a really good thing if you look at it from the right angle. Um, they actually can be super awesome. As sometimes the best we can learn is from a plateau. And so, uh, but that's also a time when people tend to make the choices that moves them in the wrong direction. So, but with that said and done, we're going to talk about fat today. Um, don't be afraid of fat. And so, about 1950, just before there was a, a big fat lie came out from Ansel Keys, where they did this huge test and said that fat causes cholesterol problems. Well, it actually is not true. Um, it's a variable, but it's it's really not the case. Uh, there's all these other factors that are, are that are definitely in there. So, um, the big fat lie shows that, and and so I encourage people to think through this. But when you go through, um, when you go through Oops, sorry, got a little sidetracked. When you start thinking about bad fat, good fat, um, when you're going low carb and you're cutting down on carbohydrates, you're maybe cutting down on certain foods, you gotta keep this in mind is that fat is the filler between. And so meaning that if you're if you cut all of these carbs out and you're cutting calories and your and your protein level maybe even went down a little bit, um, you still have to have calories, you still have to have energy, and fat has a lot of energy in it. Now, I will talk about the types of fat in a second, but what you really want to consider is the, I always tell people the first step is to go low carb first because fat and carbs don't mix. You know, what you don't want to do is be high carb and high fat and high calorie. Like that's going to be a recipe for disaster. So you go low carb first and then you start saying, okay, where can I, where can I start being situational on my fat? Maybe it's choosing, um, fattier pieces of protein. Why is that beneficial? If I give somebody a chicken breast, they might get 40, 50 grams of protein in, but most often they're not satiated or satisfied. Now, there are certain people that do get more satisfied with chicken breast. I'm not one of them. And we literally throw the breast away in our household now. That's not true. But we all go for the thighs and the legs. We want the fattier pieces. It's more enjoyable. It tends to be more filling because it has more calories in it and it still has a good amount of protein. So ratio, it has more fat and protein in it than, than just the, um, the, the chicken breast, right? Which is low fat and high protein. And so we want to maybe make some of those different choices. Choose your fattier fishes, choose your, and why is because it's more satiating. It's actually less density. So you're eating, you're getting more calories in less space, which means that you're not going to be as bloated. You're not going to be as heavy through the, the midsection because you're overfilling yourself all the time to try to feel, feel satiated. So that's number one. Number two is you can start getting high quality fats from different sources and add it to your vegetables. I like fat on vegetables. It helps the absorption of certain fat soluble vitamins. So fat on vegetables can be very useful to help absorb vitamins. So that's another little awesome little tip. And I'm going to give you some tips on which fats to, to think about first, okay? And which ones to potentially avoid. Um, and then number three is if you formulate your diet well and you're really low carb and you're really going keto, you can really go as high fat as you want. Now you will feel very satiated. You're not going to be super hungry, but it's really important why I said protein yesterday is that you want, you have enough protein in your diet because you want to maintain muscle mass. Um, the, the true ketogenic diet that was de developed back in the 19, early 1900s, it was, it was so high fat and very low, low protein. And that was how they did it to keep the ketone levels high enough for these epileptics. So modern day, long term, that may not be optimal. So for well formulated means that if you're physically active, you need more protein, we may have to increase the protein a little bit, we may have to increase the fat a little bit, but if the protein goes up, the fat can't go up too much, right? As long as the carbs are down. So it's just, it gets a little confusing. So the way to simplify this is this, is focus on low carb first, optimal protein, find that range, you know, like I said, you know, 50 to 100 grams for women, 120 to 200 grams a day for a dude. On average, people can be different. Um, and then what I would say from there is you fill the rest of it with fat. Now on days that you maybe have carbohydrates, you're going to want to make sure your fat stays a little lower because the fat and carbs don't mix. Don't overthink it, but just keep that in mind. So what I tell people is like, I do a lot of chicken thigh with skin on and broccoli and butter right? Am I pounding the butter? No, I'm putting enough to enjoy it. That's all I'm doing. Enough to enjoy it. Am I, people are putting fat in their, in their coffee and butter in their coffee and they're pounding it and just put enough to enjoy it. Um, in, if you're, if you're lean and you need more food and you're hungry, then add a little bit more, right? But if you're satiated and full and don't want to eat all day, you probably had too much 
and therefore, because you had too much, you're not eating other high quality foods. And long term, that's gonna that's gonna set you up for failure. So, um, it's 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 gonna be different for everybody. Um, I don't like the calculators, by the way, the the apps and stuff like that, because they keep encouraging people to do things the wrong way. So I don't like that necessarily. But last tip on fat is the things you want to avoid for types of fats you want to avoid is number one, um, seed nut fats, processed fats, corn fats, you don't want those. Really what you want to have is I would say avocado oil and avocados are great. Coconut, great. Um, olive oil, great. Olive oil, just watch the cooking of it. Temperature, I use it more fresh rather than cooking with olive oil unless it's cooked at a lower temperature under 300 or 350 max. But I like butter grass from a grass fed cow. I like ghee. I like duck fat. I like, um, animal fat, tallow, uh, lard. Um, if it's from high quality sources, saturated fat is not a, our enemy. Um, it, the reality is that it was consumed mostly by humans <laughs> that was consumed at a high amount by humans. Um, it's not our, it's not our enemy. It's only our enemy if we combine it with the wrong sources of other foods. And that's when it, we're giving, we're convicting the butter for what the bun did. So, but once again, remember, you don't necessarily need a ton of fat. You just maybe need to increase it a little bit if you're going to a low carb diet to make up some of the differences. And the fat can be very beneficial for you long-term in your health. It has a lot of positive benefits for you. Um, there's no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. There is such things as essential amino acids you get from protein and essential fatty acids, right, you get from fat. So those are the two things that we wanna make sure that we're getting high quality and adequate amount of. Um, carbohydrates, your body can make it on its own, but we can also get some from food if, if done uh, for you in the right way. So, hey y'all, I got a book attached here. Um, check it out, come grab our, our cookbook. Let's get us, uh, we'll get you some information and, and you can join within our program and give you some more additional coaching. So with that said and done, I'm out. Bye y'all.